Mental Fox here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Thanks for joining me again. Um, so this is my first time playing it since the huge, huge patch has been applied. And the first thing I notice is there's like a little, little icon, little crown right here. I guess this is telling me who I'm playing as, maybe. I did not reach, read the whole patch notes. There's a lot of patch notes. Um... And honestly, the patch notes that I read, I didn't really feel like applied to me all that much. Meaning, you know, it's like colorblind stuff, and thankfully I'm not colorblind. Um, why is this guy wearing these shoes that are bright like that? Look at that, that's weird. Anyway, um, I don't remember seeing anything about an icon there, but I guess that's kind of cool. So, we're here in Grimforge, and um, there's been this cave-in, somebody named Nier is in here. Um, that we need to, uh, you know, get to, and there's other, uh, gnomes in here, and, uh, there is, let's see here, um, there was something about gnomes, yeah, save the Grim Forge gnomes! Remember Thula? Gnome of the Ironhead Clan, she asked us to help her kin, so we need to get these gnomes out of here. And then, apparently, there's something updated here, travel with Karlak, um, I'm gonna guess that this is something that was done with the patch because this is old so I don't know why that showed up there but anyway what we do need to do is we need to speak with Sergeant Thryn here to see what's up see if we could help or something but I tell you what man the more I think about it the more I'm like why am I not fighting these stinking Dwergar I mean they're scum they're they're enslaving these poor gnomes, so why am I in here just, like, walking amongst them like I'm okay with it? Because, uh, let me assure you, I am not okay with it. So I'm not really sure... I don't know. I didn't come in here guns blazing because... Oh gosh, look at him whipping this guy. Um, because I thought it would be hard. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, let's speak with Sergeant Thren and see what's up. You stop. What now? What now? How's the dig going? Is this how you welcome a true soul? Or we can ask about this uh, scrying eye we've seen floating around. I mean, I don't know if she's going to give us an answer, and I'm not really sure why this is related to a gnome. I mean, do humans not see the scrying eye flying around? Why is this a gnome thing? But I don't know, let's ask. Hey, who's operating the scrying eye I've seen floating around? That's Moonrise, keeping tabs. Nier says they've scryers watching the absolute followers for trouble non-stop. I see, I see. Uh, I would like to subscribe about facts about Moonrise, please. You don't know about the seat of the absolute? No doubt you'll see it for yourself soon enough. I see, I see. Uh, so how's the, how's the dig going? Poorly, obviously. Tunnel collapsed on a true soul. Absolute's going to eat my liver. Now move! Oh. I've got no time for- The parasite stirs, but it's a mere tickle. Look how sweaty he is. You hear no thoughts or memories. Just an echo of scars that never healed. A true soul, eh? Useless wreck of a lookout could have told me. Glad you're here to take responsibility. Tunnels collapsed. Trapped true soul near. He's stuck in there with poisoned geezers. We don't get him out soon. It's both our heads. The famous Nier. Subject of the Myconid's ire, no? Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, sounds like you have a tough job ahead of you. Better hurry. I've got some explosive powder. That should do the trick. I'll take care of it. Clearing that rubble will be no easy feat. Any ideas or how did Nier get trapped? Well, let's start with this. How did Nier get trapped in there? Place is older than bone dust. Previous tenants left a trap. Dropped a shit ton of metal once we dug a ways in. Get near out, and you'll have the Absolute's blessing. No doubting that. I mean, I really don't want the Absolute's blessing. Um, but anyway, uh, what are you hoping to find at this dig? Entrance to an ancient temple. General's orders, Nier said. Must contain something important. He got me to recruit non-believers. But not everyone's seeing the Absolute's truth. They don't get paid soon. I'll have a riot on my hands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, you know, clearing that rubble, no easy feat, do you have any ideas? Not a one. Unless you count tacking Abolith fangs to my whipping cane. 
Huh, okay. Well, it was mentioned that some explosive powder might work. Those uh, gnomes over there brought that up. I mean, um, I guess we'll go ahead and say that we could do it. I mean, we could go find that Philomene person, but why walk all the way over there when we already have explosive powder here? So let's try it. I've got some explosive powder. That should do the trick. That's so. Set it near the rubble and ignite it. That'll blow the drow out. Okay. So, we're going to set it near... Why are you wearing those weird shoes, dude? Look at that. Don't know if that's... Let's see here. Let's see if he has any... Uh, he has a resistance to poison. And I... And he's got all the danger sense, da Dwergar resilience. Uh, I mean, maybe he has fast movement. Maybe that's what that's meaning. I don't know. Strange. I don't remember seeing that before the patch. And it may, it, maybe it was there before. I just didn't notice. It's not important. It's not important. What is important is blasting this stuff out of here. And, um, yeah. Getting the drow and the, uh... The, um, gnomes out. Um, let's, um... Let's see. Use or examine. Examine. Oh. <laughs> it's medium toughness this cave-in is. <laughs> it has 44, um... Strength, health, and it's resistance to a resistant. Oh, it has immunity to just about everything. It's immune to slashing, piercing. It's resistant to, but you could try to pierce it. But it's immune to so much else. But I mean, piercing is an arrow, right? So I'm, I'm gonna hit F5 here. Appeal your balls like potatoes. Did you hear? I just want to see what happens if I like shoot it with an arrow. Zero, medium toughness. I mean, sure, it's medium toughness, but it did see that piercing would work, and this is piercing damage, right? This is piercing. Okay. I just wanted to see what would happen. Um, ugh. I mean, so how do we do this? Do we, like, just go over and use it? Is that it? That Will that make us drop something and, and try it out? Let's see. You stop digging again. Oh, here comes my whole team. You near the rubble. A fragmented voice clutches at your mind. A true soul. True soul. Finally, you must clear rubble, filling poison. I see. Uh, are you near? What happened here? Is anyone else in there? Or I'll do what I can. Um, is anyone else in there? Gnome slaves. Passage trap. Careful of mercs. Careful of mercs? Get me out! The view through Nir's eyes is a blur. You only make out a bit of rubble and few moving figures. Try to focus. Hey. Hey, what more can you see? Uh, we need to roll a 10, and the only bonus we're going to get is guidance. I don't think I want to use my luck for this. I don't know how important it is, really. Let's roll this dice. Nice. The blur resolves into an image. Two gnomes feverishly removing debris. While two others lie dead at Nia's feet. Mm. Their flesh scorched by powerful magic. What does that mean? Flesh scorched by you powerful sense magic. Nia's frustration tinged with rage as the connection fades. I mean, I'm going to guess Nier killed them for some reason? I don't know. Okay, so there's that. Uh, that did not explode it. Choking! Dig out of here! Dig out of here. Okay. Sense Nier's frustration okay. tinged well, um, what do I do here? Do I drop one of these smoke powder bombs at, at the, on the ground here and then and then light it? Is that what I do? I'm not sure. I mean, how do we get all these people to get away from it? I don't know. I don't know, man. Let's, um... You better hope your little tricks to turn the true soul! Can I... And you better hope that's the worst. Can I just... I don't want to throw this. Yeah, this will this will be throwing it. 
If I throw this, is it going to explode? I mean, I don't know. Let's, I don't know. Uh, let's, uh, let's back away. One day I'll catch a break. But yeah, but these other people are here. I don't think I want to throw this thing. I think it's going to hurt these people. Can I drop it on the ground and light it? I wish I could drop it from here, but for some reason I can't. Or at least I don't see any way to do it. Instead, I need to go into my inventory. And, um... It's here. I don't want to drop all three of them, so we're going to split it. And then... It's here. We're going to just drop it on the ground. Oh. Okay, everybody's moving away. Good, good, good. Uh, okay, there it is there. Hopefully that's close enough. I don't know if it is or not. All right, let's, um, let's back away. What are you waiting for? Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Let's see. I need to wait a little to ignite it. I'm going to split my team up. I'm going to switch to my ranged weapon, and then I'm going to dip it. Which one's dip? Dip it in fire. Why does it look like a sword? I don't want to dip my sword. I want to dip my... This guy. Now I want to dip it. Dip. What are you doing? Not... Blast my sword. Let me walk closer to it. Okay. So I've got ranged weapon selected. Dip. What are you waiting for? This is going to dip my short sword. That doesn't make any sense. Whatever. No, that'll shoot it. <sighs> um, piercing weapon. Huh. Um. Thought that I. I know mean, I've done this before. Arrow. Dip. Dip a weapon into the surface. If you're dual wielding, you just dip both weapons. So I've got this selected. This is just going to shoot it. What are you waiting for? I don't know. Maybe I just do this. Deadlier than ever. Okay. Well, that was weird. It sure did look like it was going to light my um, sword on fire. Okay. So now I'm going to shoot this with what I hope is a flaming arrow. I hope it is. What are you waiting for? Fuck. Okay. Beltron, can you hear me? Okay, here they come. Uh, what's this now? Finally. Worthless slaves. Your incompetence has been my ruin. Yo. Yo, leave them alone. Stop. No more innocents will die today near or finish the slave's true soul for the absolute or say nothing. Dude, stop! You care for the weak true soul. Most curious. I come... Oh, I came on the Mykonid Sovereign's behalf. It demands revenge. I act on orders of the Resolute. Of course I care. I can't let these gnomes suffer. Or, <laughs> this isn't about them, I just can't stand your face. Uh, dude, of course I care. I can't let these guys suffer. The Absolute demands their slaughter. Yet, here you stand, in bold defiance. A test, yes, you must be. The Absolute bade you to try Nir's faith. Thryn... Carve out his heart and serve it to the Rothe. If he indeed is a true soul, let the Absolute save him. Uh-huh. Well, let's see here. Uh, you wouldn't dare. I'm faithful to the Absolute. You so much as touch me, and I'll tear you from limb to limb. Say nothing. Or in your eulogy, I'm going to call you a twat soul. Um, I mean... <sighs> I really don't want to fight this guy. Why does her face look like that? I really don't want to fight this guy. Because it, if we fight him, are we also going to have to fight the Dwergar too? I mean, who's, whose side are the Dwergar on? They generally don't like him. They call him Twatzel. Uh, but I don't think they're just going to like suddenly turn on him and fight with us. So 
this will be a fight between my little party here and who knows how many of them there are. The slaves, I don't know if they'll join in, but even if they do, what good are they going to be? Oh, hey, look, we could trade with this guy. Complete find explosives. Okay. <laughs> I find it hilarious that we could trade with this guy. Hey, I'm going to buy a potion of healing from you. Uh, a dagger plus one. I don't think I need that. A dumb old ring, a dumb old ring, and a dumb old necklace. Okay. <laughs> That's hilarious to me. Uh, hold on a minute, Nier. I know you don't like me very much, but um, let's do a little bit of trading. I'm going to buy a health potion from you before you... So this is, this is hypocritical, but I'm tempted to say it just to prevent a fight. And this is going to create a fight say nothing will probably create a fight this will create a fight um i don't know i feel like this is also a type of deception which we do all the time just because it doesn't say deception next to it doesn't mean it's not deception let's try to deceive him here you uh, are a traitor okay Dwega, this true soul has betrayed us oh okay let his blood oh, crap. prove your devotion. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, crap. Here we go. Oh, crap. Here we go. Okay. Well, we're... Oh, jeez. Look how many of them there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven of them. And four of us. And, I mean, 52 health. Oh, gosh. 78. There he is back there. 44. 62. 38, 44, 38, 42, 58, 54, and, and 8. <laughs> um, I don't like my chances here at all. <laughs> Not one bit. Stone Guard Kerr cast Ensnaring Strike on Gale. Needed 11 to hit. They rolled a 15. We could use our shield here. When you're about to be hit by an enemy, increase your armor class by 5. You take no damage from Magic Missile. Uh, this is going to use one of our slots, but oh well. Uh, that hit him anyway. Okay, that's not good. Um, oh, oh, he gets another chant turn? Stone Guard Kerr. Okay, he gets another turn. Crap. Why does he get more turns? I can't seem to examine him right now. Uh, let's use our luck here. Gosh, we're going to use all this stuff up here right before we even fight. Oh, come on. And he hit me anyway. Okay, fantastic. Here's Nier. Oh, uh... Whoa, he jumped over there. Okay, here comes Dalthar. Coated their weapon with poison and they shot and missed, thank goodness. And they get to shoot again. Okay, these guys get to shoot twice. That's fantastic. Missed. And he shoots again and misses. He's going to jump right in our face. Great. Well, this is fantastic. We haven't even started fighting yet. And uh, Fox is hurt. Gale's hurt. She's got a nick. Um, I mean, holy cow. <sighs> okay, so Gale is at a disadvantage. Because he's ensnared. This thing here, if I remember correctly, it can summon help. So I'm thinking of getting rid of this thing right here and right now. We only have a 56% chance of hitting it. And if we try to use this, yeah, 56% chance. This thing has 8 health. Oh, wait a minute. 90% chance with fire. Even if it, with a disadvantage. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to destroy this damn thing. Four. Four damage. Great. Um, I don't know if pushing it makes any difference, but I'm feeling like my bonus action should be climbing this freaking ladder. Oh, I'm immobile. Shoot. I was going to try to get some high ground because this is not going to go well. Oh, one thing I do want to look at is here. Let's see. Save the Grimforge gnomes. Defeat the cultists. True soul near wants the gnomes dead, but we refuse. We've made an enemy of him. And then down here, the Chosen of Shar reach the ancient temple. We learned that Grimforge leads to an ancient temple. Perhaps the truth of what happened to the dark justiciars can be discovered there. And then, oh, all kinds of stuff down here. Uh, find true soul, soul near complete. Speak to near. We've managed to clear the cave in. Let's see what near has to say for himself. Find explosives. 
Uh, the cave-in was cleared. We found some explosives. We can try to blow the cave-in or look for some more. Find the missing boots complete. The Dwargar are hostile. Delivering the boots is probably not an option anymore. I love the way they they word stuff in this game. It's nice. Um, okay, so Gale really doesn't... He can't move. He's totally ensnared here. My only options are I could try to push this thing away. Or I could try to dip my weapon in something that's not even nearby. Or I could take a health potion. And I mean, good lord, I'm already going to take a health potion? Jeez. Alright, that's what we did. Next up will be... Mind Master Dunnall. I don't think I'm going to like what Mind Master Dunnall does. What's this down here? That, that I don't remember that little icon there. It was probably there, though. Mind Mastery on Shadow Hearts. Mind Mastery. Good grief, what is Mind Mastery? Why can't I examine right now? Uh, I know I used to be able to examine, but I guess I can't anymore. We got this jerk here. I'm telling you, man, we need to get rid of this thing, but... Shoot, man. My party's around here. I, I kind of wanted to do a Thunder Wave to push people away. But you could see... Oh, somebody up here, too. You can see that I'm just going to knock my people away, too, so I can't do that. Um, but yeah, we need to destroy this thing. 81% chance. 85% chance. Okay, so we got rid of that thing, so that's good. And I'm going to climb this ladder. I'm going to try to get the high ground here. Do I have any more? Okay, I'm gonna get behind this guy. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Okay, so there's nothing else I could do right now, but at least now I'm standing behind him. And next will be Drar's turn. I'm still annoyed that I can't do an examine. Oh, what's group? I don't remember that either. Exam yeah. I wanted to see what uh, mind mastery is. Oh, it just so happens to be his turn. He's going to turn around. Oh, okay. I'm going to use my opportunity attack. He's trying to run out of my reach. Oh, not... Ooh, damn. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hunter's Mark. Okay, well, that worked. Well, this is the last of our luck. And he hit me anyway. Oh, and he hit me again. Good grief. Okay, another mind mastery. Okay, this is not good. Carlac. Um. Uh huh. Weapon enchantment, underdog's bravery. What? Examine. I still can't examine. Well, we got this guy right here in our face. This jerk. Sixty-two health. My goodness. What in the world am I gonna do? Rage charge. Number of times you can enter a rage. This is a bonus action. Can I do a bonus action before I do an action? I don't remember. I can. Okay, so now I'm raged. That should help some, I think. Um, and then... Ooh, I've got this thing here. Phalar Aluv Melody. Shriek. The sword shrieks. All enemies within six meters of range have a 1d4 penalty to charisma, wisdom, and intelligence saving throws. Affected creatures receive an extra 1 to 4 thunder damage. Let's do it. Parabello! Oh. Oh, wait a minute now. It looks like it's affecting Gale and Shadowheart too, but they're not enemies. Or are they considered enemies now because they, they, they're they mind-mastered? I don't know. But um, that unfortunately was our turn. So there's nothing else she can do. Next up, oh yeah, look at that. Shadowheart is showing up as an enemy. Oh jeez. Okay, well what's Shadowheart gonna do to my own team? She's going to... Oh, damn! Oh, 
Well, that seemed to wake her up. So what happened was uh, Shadowheart, being mind-mastered, was being controlled by the computer. She tried to run away, which made uh, Karlak take her opportunity attack. And that makes me wish that I could have decided whether or not I wanted to do an opportunity attack. However, I think that, that when she attacked Shadowheart, she woke her up. So what if I push Gale? Will that stop him from being mind-mastered? Let's see. Target can may not, not be moved by force. Well, crap. Oh, because... I'll be damned. Because he is... Um... Pinned down, I guess. Sheesh. And I don't think healing him is going to help any. So I don't know how to get... i just worried that... Where is Gale's here? Um... It won't be Gale's turn for a while. So, Shadowheart, I want you to climb this ladder as well. And get Fox. Help Fox. Not enough resources. Great. Not enough resources? Does that mean I can't get the... Oh, okay. Because that's a, this is a this is an action. I see. Can I heal Fox when he's down? This might be a waste. Okay, he gets back up. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. And then we're going to have her stand like right here because she's going to turn around and shoot at people beneath her when it's her turn next. <laughs> I do not see any chance of us winning this. I don't. I just don't see it, man. It is Thrin's turn. I tell you what, Karlak takes a beating. Good lord, how many times does she get to attack? The cool thing is, is that she ran into this shriek. That oh, he jumped into the shriek. Good lord, how many turns do these guys get? Enlarged, cool. Okay, he's enlarged. He stopped just outside of the shriek. Some healing. My God. My goodness. Oh, Gale's dead. My Holy hell, these guys get a lot of turns. Where are you going? Um, wow. Okay. Holy mother. Okay. Good. Oh, man. Would you look at this right here? Oh, if I drop that, that's going to land on... Hmm. I tell you what, though, I think I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh. Why can't I use my? I finally get a turn and I can't do anything. Man, freaking annoying. Not enough resources. Try my offhand attack, I guess. Fine. Hope your soul is in good hands. <laughs> Four points of damage. And then if I try to run away from him, it doesn't look like he has opportunity attacks. So I'm going to run back over here. Um, That was my bonus attack, so I cannot drink a potion. Drawer, he just hit me for 11. Okay, he missed, thank goodness. Yeah, this is, this is hopeless. Carlax turn. We've got Gale on the ground here. This is healing. This is just healing myself. Let's see. Okay, Shadowheart's gonna go next, so she can... Well, I don't know if Shadowheart can bring him back up or not, because she's up at the top of that ladder. She might not be able to see him. Shadowheart, can you see him? Can you heal him? can. We're going to heal Gale. Take two, two. Gale comes back to life. And then she does still have a turn. Golly, she's really hurting, man. Um, I'm actually not sure. Oh, this is a bonus action. Healing is a bonus action. I can't believe I've never, never noticed that before. Okay, we got this jerk face over here. use a cantrip against him. Firebolt 2 to 20, Sacred Flame 2 to 16. 
Let's firebolt this guy. Man, I don't like that it's only a 55% chance. What's this do? 40% chance. What if I just shot an arrow? That takes up a... S no, let's see. 65% chance, but the arrow only does 3 to 10 damage. Channel Divinity. Um, What does this do? Replenishable. Re the number of times you can channel your divine powers. Hmm, I don't know what that is. What are her divine powers? The number of times you can channel your divine powers. I, hmm. Um, cleric. No. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Your divine powers. I should know that, but I don't. All right, we're going to use our cantrip here. <sighs> you know, I say that. Oh, Fox is down too. I didn't even notice that. Crap, man. Um, I don't know. I mean, I could try to... Uh, okay, that um, hurt some of them, but not a whole lot. And now her turn is done. She can't... Uh, what is Divine Powers? Oh, Divine Powers are Invoke Duplicity and Turn Undead. Uh, okay, that's not going to do me any good. Okay, now it's Carlac's turn. This guy's sitting here with fully healed, fully healed. He's hurting a little bit. Oh, oh, the, he's not an enemy. He just happens to be standing in the, the shriek. Forty-two, fifty-eight. Well, we could try to try to take out Sergeant Thrin here. Right. Let's see. Lacerate is seven to sixteen. This is seven to sixteen. But lacerate. He's now bleeding. We're going to attack him again. Nice. Still got nine health though. And we don't want to push him or anything because. Uh, we might push him out of the Shriek. So we're going to go ahead and take a potion. And now here comes the Gauntlet again. Taking a swing on poor Gale. Hey, leave Gale alone. Okay, Gale's down. He jumped over there to get out of the Shriek and then ran right back into it. Now he's in the Shriek. Critical miss. God. Well, at least they're missing. Oh my God! There's so many of them. Oh, great! Now Carlac's frightened. Look at all the look at all the effects on Carlac. <laughs> Visible. Okay. Holy hell! There's so many of them. Okay. Oh, he's coming up the ladder. He's out of the shriek. Okay, and now she's dead. So Carlac's the only one who's left alive. Okay, all right. Well, both of them are pushed over the edge. My goodness, Shriek is over with. Oh, oh, oh. Well, we killed one of them. Oh my. Okay, what's going on here? What happened? Um... What did happen? I mean, Karlak is... still alive. Uh, Barkus Root here is hurting. What's going on? Immobile. And turn. Yeah, I don't really know what that was all about. 
Now Barkus Root just died. He was a, he was a good guy. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm kind of like now. Just go ahead and finish me off because there ain't nothing I could do. Huh. Okay. Mark, she's hit. I'll tell you what, she takes a beating. I'll give her that. But the sh sword is still shrieking. Okay, now she's been mind struck, whatever that is. Okay, so now it is her. I do not know what happened with her turn last time. I really don't. The bar up here was gone. She wasn't in turn based mode. I don't know what happened. Uh, I'm going to just try. Rec no, not reckless attack. What's the one where I swing wildly? I thought there was one where she, like, swung in a circle. Maybe I'm thinking of, um, Lozelle. But, I mean, she's dead. There's there's nothing. She's got four health. I mean, I could do this, but that's just delaying the inevitable. Right? Four to seven damage. I mean... Uh, 47, 44, 44, 50, 38... 26, 29, 42, and 45. I mean, give me a break. There is nothing, nothing that Carlac can do. She can't even reach the ladder. So, and if she tries to run away, there's going to be a lot of opportunity attacks on her, so there's no sense in doing that. So, I mean, really, she's just dead. She just is. I don't know, just hit somebody. <laughs> And then just hit him again. I don't know. And then take a potion. Just waste one of my potions. There she goes. Okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, I mean, what in the world? <laughs> what in the world am I supposed to do with that? Uh, not a chance. I mean, no chance at all, man. Wow. Wow. Um, well, let's see where it was saved. I'm not sure exactly where the game saved. Okay, so we're back here. I guess this is before we even speak with Thryn. Right? Let's see. Go on already. Oh. Ignite the powder. Okay, so this is after we talked to Thren. Okay, so we've talked to everybody, um, and they're just waiting for us to ignite the powder. But we all know what happens if we ignite the powder. Nier comes out, and either we... I'm assuming that if we play the absolute card, Clean up this mess. he won't attack us, Clean but that would mean killing the gnomes, and I'm not going to do that. So... Really, I mean, I think I think our only option is to fight these guys um, before we blow this. I think that's what we have to do. And then we could blow this, and then we would just have near to deal with instead of all of them. I think that's what we need to do. I think. It feels like cheating in a way, but I mean, I guess that's that's video gaming, right? I mean, we know we know the future now. We know what's going to happen, so it's not like I just you know follow the same steps again. And um, and try to beat them because I I don't think there's any way I could beat those guys. I really don't. And you better hope that's the worst of it. Who's over here? Oh, a skeleton. So, uh, yeah. Now, I, I really, ugh, I really don't want to just like fight these guys. Man, this guy's out here too. I'm wondering. What path lies before? I mean, I could try to get high grounds, but what I would really, what I really kind of wish is that, um, I wish that. Uh, 
I had Astarion with me to do the thing where he just sneaks in and takes somebody out and then sneaks away. <laughs> if that's even a, a possible thing to do. Oh, Stone Guard Curran. These, okay. Yeah, these two were in the battle. Uh, this person here, Dana. I don't know if Dana was in the battle or not. What do I do with the campfire? Use. I don't know. Um. Yeah, man. I, um... I wonder, I mean, do you think it's worth going to try to find this person up here? And, I mean, do you think that they could give us extra information that we don't currently have? I don't know, but that's so far away. And I don't know if this is fortunate or unfortunate, but I know something that I, I wouldn't otherwise know. Um... I don't remember where I saw this, what I was searching for, how I came across this, but I saw that... I think I, I think I was just doing a search to see who Nier was, because I didn't remember. And what I found out was that if, is, if you rest at camp twice after finding about the cave-in, everybody in the cave-in will die. So, <laughs> I've already rested at camp once since we learned about this. So if I rest again, everybody in here will die. Well... On one hand, it's good because it would kill Nier. At least I'm assuming Nier would die. Um, but it's bad because then the gnomes that we're going to try to save will die also. So I don't want to rest again. And I'm worried. That's interesting. I'm worried that if I try, if I do try to make my way up here to where Philomene is. I mean, look how far away that is. I have to think that there's going to be a battle between here and there. And that's going to weaken my team even more. And I don't want my team weak when I'm going to try to fight all these guys because there sure are a lot of them. Boy, there sure are a lot of them. So I think that really the only thing to do is to fight all these guys without near. I don't know how much of a difference that'll make. I'm going to go steal this potion, man. Oh, except this damn eye is watching me. Okay, never mind. How far will this eye follow me? Can I go somewhere far away from people and destroy this eye without people knowing it? I don't know. I thought that there was a... Let's see, I'm trying to remember... Oh, there's people there, too. Where is a nice, quiet spot? I remember I thought there were some places like that we could jump to that were kind of far away oh down here is what I'm thinking let's go down here will that thing follow me down here let's see how far it follows us let's see oh he's gonna stop right there okay oh no nope 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 whoa whoa camera whoa what are you doing camera nope he is he's not gonna follow us down here I don't remember if I've been down here. There's a chest down here. Ooh, there's another chest down here. There's another chest down here. And then there's a symbol on the ground that makes me a little wary. Oh crap! Oh, there must be a stockpile nearby. Oh okay. Oh. Left out in plain sight like that. Hmm. No, the harpers are too smart for that. Uh huh. Look at all this. Okay. You know what? I'm going to leave that for later because I am worried that there are going to be traps down there and the last thing I need is for my party to get weakened before I try to take all these guys on. So I'm thinking that I'm just going to leave that for later. How do I... Oh, the, oh, that's funny. It shows. It looks like the fire's out, but it's not. We're just too far away from it. Um, Actually, where is it? Over here. Come over here. That thing's gone. I'm going to F5 this just in case I screw this up. I want this potion. Steal. Nobody saw it. Therefore, it didn't happen. Okay. Potion of greater healing. I mean, come on now. It's pretty good. Can't, uh, can't go wrong with that. There's a backpack here. 
open. Open up. Oh, it's just got a fish in it. I don't need that. There's a traveler's chest here. Okay, nothing that I want. After I kill all these guys, we'll definitely come back and get this stuff. But right now, I'm just looking to see if there's health potions or anything. Um... Can my team sneak? <laughs> you know, I mean, can I go up there and sneak up and kill this guy without anybody else knowing? Is that possible? Well, I say that, but um, he's got 44 health. How am I going to sneak up and kill somebody with 44 health without anybody seeing? If I could do that, I'd kill everybody like that, right? Well, I'm going to end this episode here. Next time... I really do think that we need to fight everybody. I mean, I think that's just it. We just need to fight them. Not not the slaves, but these jerks. We gotta fight them all. We gotta clear them all out before we blast the rock and then hopefully you better hope you're save the gnomes. That's what we're gonna try to do. Alright, you guys. That'll do it for this episode. <laughs> We've got a lot of work ahead of us. Thanks for joining me on this episode. I sure hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me know by leaving a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.